guys if you just updated your Mac you may have noticed that iPhoto is no longer there although you, it's still on your Mac um, photos kinda replaces that so you can not actually use photos to do your iCloud thing the whole thing however um, I don't recommend it that much because photos take a bunch of space on iCloud so it's kinda forcing you to buy some extra space from Apple anyways um, you can use photos to do edits and everything so you can just take a quick tour or just get started I, I would say just get started um, something all this setup that you see here you can actually do that from system preferences yourself so if you don't want to go through this whole thing you can just do it from here system preferences and do the whole iCloud thing yourself um, from here you can activate or or not your photos so here if you go to iCloud you can see photos and the options that you have for photos so you have the iCloud photo library which I'm never gonna start it up because that takes up too much space and my photo stream um, photo stream as you know takes up to a thousand pictures then restarts so you can do that um, for now we're just gonna go through this photo thing just to take a look at it and so you guys see everything so do I want this photo thing actually no just because it's gonna be on my iCloud and my iCloud is so limited especially for videos uh, takes so much space so not now so you can click on not now and then just go to photos um, so here's how it, how it looks like now okay uh, it's not a huge difference but it's a difference obviously from what you've seen on on your iCloud so it's a little bit cleaner the look um, up here you have your shared your albums projects and that's about it I mean it, it is pretty cool looking let's say I mean uh, iPhoto looks a little bit better to me at, at least but this looks alright I mean you do have this projects thing which is kinda nice uh, your albums just like iPhoto pretty much and um, share well whatever you share anyways that's it for this video I just wanted to show you guys this uh, photos thing don't be afraid of it but um, as well I don't recommend it myself to just use everything on photos just because it, everything's gonna be stored on your iCloud and iCloud is as you know you have a limit of 5 gigs and most of your iPhones are at least 16 gigs and that's why most of you have your backup pretty much full so I actually have that turned off and I just um, all I do is actually have this option open um, which is my photo stream and I cloud photo sharing where well, yeah that, that's okay that you can share your albums and stuff with people and subscribe to other people's uh, photo sharing albums that's alright but this first check mark I wouldn't do that myself so that's th that's that for this video if you guys have any questions comments you can ask them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you